All right, so we back with another video for your belly. Stay tuned. So today I'm making calzones with homemade marinara sauce. I added grapeseed oil to a hot skillet. Then I added about four cloves of minced garlic. Then I'm gonna saute the garlic until it gets a little darker in color. And once the garlic got a little darker, I went ahead and added one whole onion. I used a medium onion for this recipe. And once the onions have softened, they've gotten a little darker in color, I went ahead and added a large can of crushed tomatoes. And I used a little bit of water to get the rest of the tomato sauce out the can. Now you want to stir this until everything is incorporated. And now it's time to season it. I used about a teaspoon and a half of oregano and a teaspoon of crushed red peppers. Okay, now add salt, salt to your taste. And fresh cracked black pepper. Then we're gonna add sugar. I use Maybe a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of sugar. It depends on how sweet you want it. I just wanted it a little sweet. Now I'm gonna taste it to see if I need more seasoning or sugar. Now we're gonna add fresh chopped basil. Everything is mixed well together. Uh, we're gonna let it simmer for about another four or five minutes just to kind of get all the flavors involved. Now our marinara sauce is done. And there you have it. Nice, chunky, flavorful marinara sauce. Okay, now let's get on the calzones. First, we're gonna brown our ground beef. Now, we're not gonna use all of this ground beef for this recipe, uh, so there was some left over. Um, you can cut it down. You don't have to use a brown, all of this meat that you see here. Okay, so first, I seasoned it with Herbs de Provence. This stuff right here is bomb diggity. Salt. Fresh cracked black pepper. I'm just gonna mix everything in. Once the ground beef is fully browned, go ahead and drain it and set aside. Now I'm gonna crisp up some turkey bacon. And now I'm gonna crisp up some pepperoni. Uh, this is turkey pepperoni. Um, 
I don't know, I just like my pepperoni crispy. So uh, I went ahead and put it in the pan and, and fried it up a little bit. So now I'm gonna cut the bacon into smaller pieces. So now I'm gonna put some flour onto the countertop. And yes, I did clean the countertop thoroughly. Uh, this is so the dough won't stick to the countertop when you're making these things. And we're using the regular Pillsbury pizza crust dough uh, that you can get from your local store. Once I have my dough rolled out, I'm gonna add the marinara sauce to the bottom layer. Then we're gonna add mozzarella cheese. Now we're adding our ground beef. Now the chopped bacon. Pepperoni. And finally, more cheese on top. What's the calzone without extra cheese? Now I just have a little cup of water, just kind of wetting my fingertips and just kind of getting the edges a little bit so that way when we fold this together, the dough is gonna stick well. Once you pull the other side of the dough over, I just kind of firmly pressed on the edges just to kind of get the, the dough to stick. Then we're just gonna cut the excess dough off. So now that we've done that, we're just gonna tuck the edges of the calzones Kind of like uh, underneath one another. Uh, that way we can get it airtight. Um, there won't be any uh, heat escaping besides the slits that we put on top of this council. Zones are ready. Uh, we'll go ahead and put them in the oven and we're just gonna follow the directions that were on the can. Um, you just wanna kinda cook the dough till it's crispy because everything in the middle is already cooked. And halfway through, we're just gonna baste them with some garlic butter. 
uh, just melted some butter and added garlic powder and we're gonna base both these calzones and we're gonna get it all over uh, that way it's gonna crisp up nice and brown it's also gonna have flavor outside and I also want to say at this point, uh, instead of flour, you can use breadcrumbs. I know a, a lot of people like to use breadcrumbs on the bottom of their piece of dough. Uh, it gets a little more texture. And it will also brown and crisp up well. And now they're done. The smell was unbelievable. It's time to plate this thing up. Go ahead and match this with a salad. Get your side of marinara sauce and bon appetit.